Hello everybody, welcome to Deluxe Collectibles, and today I'm going to be doing a LEGO Worst to First for all of the LEGO Super Mario sets that are releasing in 2020. There are 18 sets here that we'll be going over, and keep in mind, all of this is just my personal opinion, so you can leave your Worst to First down below as well. And I do want to let you all know, if you're not familiar with the LEGO Super Mario sets, that of course you need the Mario character to be able to interact with all of these sets and he only comes in the starter pack so I just wanted to make that clear that in some of the images for a few of the sets you'll see Mario in them but he's only included in the starter pack I just didn't want to confuse anyone or mislead any of you so I just wanted to let you know that at the beginning here but I hope you go on to enjoy the video and let's get into it here with number 18. Alright, first up here we've got the Super Mushroom Surprise, set number 30385, and this one looks like a pretty decent poly bag. It's lower down because nothing in it is really exclusive. You get a Super Mushroom here, but that's included in a couple of the other sets, and then you get one of the Mystery Blocks as well, which looks great, but it's not something that's too unique to this poly bag on its own. But I do like the design of the packaging here, I think that looks great, I like this in simplicity to it and I like how they make it very clear that you can connect it with the starter course but you're going to need that starter course if you want to be able to interact with the gameplay aspect of this poly bag so I like how they're making that very clear it's really good for consumers but overall a good poly bag but just from the other sets it doesn't really compare. Next up here, we've got the Propeller Mario. This one is set number 71371. This one will include 13 pieces and will retail in the US for $9.99 and then in Canada for $13.99. And these suits are very interesting to me. I like the designs of most of them, but they don't exactly live up to like some of the other sets. Of course, they're going to not really be able to do that just because of the limited piece count here. But from what they are, I think they're pretty decent. Now, they do have some functions for the gameplay as well. If you were interested, this one seems to allow Mario to fly over portions of the course. I don't know if you'll exactly be able to jump from the start to the end. I'm not sure if it goes that far. I'm sure there's a time limit to it, but I do like that it adds an in-game function here. I think that's really interesting. And even on Mario's chest, you can see it adds a different icon that shows up on the screen there. So I really like that extra feature as well. I think it's a decent looking outfit. It's just the lowest one here in this ranking because I feel like it looks the least different from his normal suit. It's just kind of red and plain. I like the propeller cap, but overall it's nothing too amazing. All right, now we've got the Cat Mario suit here. This one is set number 71372. It will include 11 pieces and retail for $9.99 in the US and then $13.99 in Canada. And this Cat Mario suit is pretty cute, I can't lie. I had to put it above the propeller suit because it just feels more unique. And I also like the feature of this one. I'll be very curious to know how this works because you can see someone kind of using it to crawl up a wall and that wall isn't necessarily a part of the course so I'm kind of curious how it's going to be implemented and if it will actually depend on like your actual environment that you're in and not only the set so I'll be very interested to see how that pans out and I like the icon as well I like the little bell on there for the power up I think that's really great and I just like the cat ears it looks very cute it definitely really changes up Mario's appearance which I can really appreciate and I think that's the main things that these suit designs should be doing. Okay, so I know I'm going over a lot of the suits here, but they're just lower in the ranking just because they can't really live up to the sizes of the other sets. Those just have so much more to them. But now we've got the Builder Mario suit here. This one is set number 71373. It will include 10 pieces and once again retail for $9.99 in the US and then $13.99 in Canada. And I love this Builder Mario suit. I think it looks fantastic. I really like Super Mario Maker. 
and I think that this one is just a really cool looking suit. I like the belt buckle print there on the actual torso piece. I think that adds a lot to it on the helmet as well. I really love that, how it's like a hard hat design, and then you have the Mario symbol there. I think that's great, and I like the little stands that we get as well for these suits. I haven't really commented on that, but it's nice that we get somewhere to display them when they're not in use. So I think overall it's a pretty great looking outfit. All right, now we've got the final Mario suit here, and this one is the Fire Mario. This one is set number 71370. It will include 11 pieces, and of course, retail in the U.S. for $9.99 and then $13.99 in Canada. And I haven't really spoken about my opinion on the price, but I think that's pretty reasonable for what you're getting here. At least it changes up a portion of the gameplay, which is nice and gives you a few more features. So if you're fully utilizing the Mario sets, then I think it will definitely Enhan definitely enhance your gameplay experience and I really like this outfit it's just one of the most classic ones we could get with fire Mario I when I think of Mario one of his most iconic power-ups I think of the fire flower and I think that this just came out looking really cool definitely changes up his appearance quite a bit and makes him stand out as well so overall just an amazing looking suit Okay, now we can get into the actual Super Mario sets here, the full-on builds, and this one here is actually a pre-order bonus for the starter pack, at least from what I've seen on the LEGO Store website. Now, I'm not sure if you'll be able to get this at the moment because it seems to have sold out as a pre-order bonus, but still is a cool set overall. It is the Monty Mole and Super Mushroom set number 40414. It will include 163 pieces, and I want to comment on one thing just at the start here since we're getting into the box designs here I really like how they kind of make Mario a little transparent on the box there they still find a way to incorporate him into the artwork but they also make it very clear that he's not included in this set so I think that's really smart how they were able to achieve that I think that's a really cool design there and I really like looking and kind of di dissecting the box designs I think it's really cool and creative how they kind of design everything I really like that sort of idea for the set and this set just overall looks really well done I think it's a cool smaller build that you're getting here and definitely a good pre-order bonus I would say I love the super mushroom there you're getting Monty Mole as well who's very cool now he's not exclusive to this set but still is a good character overall and then you get one of the like giant boulder pieces there or whatever you would like to call it it's like a stone hedge basically that you can knock over with Mario when you hop on that path how block there so I really like that inclusion as well some very cool play features here these sets will definitely appeal quite a bit to kids because there's so many fun play features I think as display pieces they can work as well but I think that definitely the play features are what kind of bring these sets to the level that they're at so I think that this one is a pretty well done pre-order bonus All right, now we've got something that was a big surprise for me personally. We have a character series here, and this one is set number 71361. It will retail in Canada in the U.S. for $4.99 per pack. And what's interesting about this is that in the box, like normally in a minifigure box, you would get 60 packs in total, but in this one, there's 20 packs. So apparently people are theorizing that you, if you could get a complete box here, that in each row, because there's two rows of 10 that in each row you'll have a complete series and I think that's a really cool idea I think it's really fantastic that they're doing that it will make it a lot easier for collectors if they can get a complete box to maybe split it with a friend if they don't if they both want a complete series or just go into the store and it should be easier to find which ones are in which because this may be a difficult series since they're brick built characters and the characters that are included I'll go over them here from left to right we have the Fuzzy, Babom, Spiny, Blooper, Eep Cheap, 
Urchin, Blip Bill, Buzzy Beetle, Peepa, and then the Paragoomba as well. So I think we have a great range of characters there. I think they all look really fantastic. I really love all of the varied colors here. It's definitely a super colorful and intriguing looking series, and it stands out quite a bit. I like the packaging as well quite a bit. I think they did a great job designing that. The characters do a fantastic job of standing out, and what's interesting is they do say a piece count on the pack there, which says 23 pieces, so I assume that'll be about the average piece count for each of the characters, so I think overall it's just a really great character series here and a really cool idea. All right, now we've got the Boomer Bill Barrage, set number 71366. This one will include 132 pieces and will retail in the U.S. for $29.99 and then in Canada for $39.99. And this set will include a Shy Guy figure. We'll get a Super Mushroom and then we will be getting two Boomer Bill characters as well, which look really great. I know that there was some sort of like discussion in the community about the naming of the Boomer Bill because apparently the smaller figure that comes in the character series is called Bullet Bill and this one could have had Bullet in the name but they thought that maybe that was because Lego didn't want to use that word but then they use it in the character series so I'm not too sure about that. Let me know if you have any more information on that in the comment section down below. Feel free to share but I think that they still look really great. Of course the design is unchanged depending on the name so I think that this one looks really cool. It's definitely a very fun play feature it looks to be. You can see them kind of jumping on the mushroom there and you kind of get to go around and evade those boomer bills there. So I think it's just a really fun play set. It's a little lackluster just for me because the boomer bill design, it is a cool design, but it just compared to some of the other ones, it doesn't really hold up against them. In my personal opinion, of course, there's just some other designs that are more favorable for me. I do like the shy guy though and I like that we're getting a super mushroom room included here as well and it does look like a pretty fun play set. Next up here, we've got the Desert Pokey. This one is set number 71363. It will include 180 pieces and it will retail in the US for $19.99 and then $24.99 in Canada. So a great price point here for this set. It's going to include, of course, the Desert Pokey and then you will get Monty Mole as well, which is a nice extra inclusion there. And I really like the play feature here, how you can spin Mario there to kind of knock out the section of the Desert Pokey. I think that's a very cool feature for sure that really replicates that well from the game. And I just really like the design of this set. I think it's really well done and it looks cool when you kind of combine the pipe with it as well and just kind of the whole course because just so you know, you can kind of combine those elements from the starter course. Of course, you can make your whole Mario level with all of these sets combined, but that's some of the things that are featured in the pictures. So it's more so what's on the box art is what's included and then those other features on the back of it, let's say, are some of the things that you can kind of add to the set as they're saying with the starter course. So I think that's pretty cool how you're able to kind of expand your Mario levels as well with all of these sets. I think that's a really awesome idea for them to do and definitely something that would encourage consumers to buy quite a few of these sets to kind of make it a larger playset. Maybe even duplicates of some of the sets because that could definitely make it a longer course as well. So just some really cool ideas going on here. I really love what they're doing with the Super Mario sets here and I think this one is a great inclusion. All right, next up here, we've got the Thwomp Drop, and this one is set number 71376. It will include 393 pieces in retail in the U.S. for $39.99, and then in Canada for $49.99, and this set here includes, of course, a Thwomp, and then you get two Pitabo characters there, and they look really cute. I absolutely love their faces there with just their eyes. They look really awesome, and then the Thwomp as well. I really like the feature here, even though 
though it's kind of a straightforward course here, there isn't too many places where you can kind of go off. It's kind of just straightforward here so that you kind of avoid the thwomp dropping on you, but I still think that that is a really cool feature to have there, and I like the pita bows as well, and you can definitely expand upon this one also, but I think that it's a good set with a fairly reasonable price for the piece count that you're getting. I would say it's pretty good, and considering it can work with some of these in-game features, I think that would definitely up the price point a bit more, but I really like the design of the Thwomp. I would say that's my favorite part of the set, and I think just overall, it has a really cool design. Okay, next up here, we've got the Piranha Plant Power Slide, and this one is set number 71365. It will include 217 pieces and will retail in the US for $29.99 and then $39.99 in Canada. And this was a set that I've actually seen a review from Just Too Good, and the play feature looked like so much fun on this one. It could get a bit repetitive, I presume, but it's kind of like you're kind of avoiding hitting the Piranha Plants between that, like, slider there. There. It's almost like a sort of seesaw design where you got to keep Mario in the middle to earn coins And I think that that is a really cool feature there I love that I like that we get in time block there to kind of add extra time to your playthrough there I really like the block there and then you're getting a Koopa as well with a green shell in particular Then you're getting a Goomba also and then of course you get the two piranha plants on each end of that track there Which I think is really nice and I feel like the price point here here might feel a little bit high, but you are getting a pretty good amount of characters here with four of them. Of course, if you count both Piranha Plants and, of course, just three unique characters overall. And I like the design of it as well. The color scheme is very nice also. Just the color schemes of all of these Mario sets look really great. They're very vibrant, and I can really appreciate that. It captures the game's charm very well in its design also. So, just overall, a really cool set here with a really awesome play feature. Sure. Okay, now we've got the Womps Lava Trouble, set number 71364. This one will include 133 pieces, and it will retail in the U.S. for $19.99, and then $24.99 in Canada. And this set looks really fantastic. To be honest with you, now that we're further in this video, I don't exactly plan to pick up too many of these sets. I might consider getting the starter course just for that Mario if it goes on a really good sale. Now, I'm not asking for something a reasonable like 50% off or anything like that but maybe a 20% off sale and then I would consider purchasing it and then maybe I would branch out and get some of the expansion sets if I really like how the play features work out and some of the gameplay as well and this would definitely be one of the ones that I would consider picking up because I absolutely love the design of the Womp there you also get one of the Pita Bows as well which is a really nice inclusion they're super cute so I would be really excited to be able to add them you get a power block as well to kind of knock over the womp right there but I just love the design of that womp I think it looks so great the face there just looks absolutely fantastic they captured it so well I would arguably say that it is one of the best looking Mario kind of mobs that they have here in these sets I think it just looks absolutely fantastic you can knock over the womp as well which is just some really fun play features there you get a green shell also which is a nice inclusion and this set just looks fantastic and I really love the price point on this one very reasonable I absolutely love it when they're able to kind of compromise with us and give us a really great set but for a reasonable price as well so just really well done absolutely love it a really fantastic set with arguably one of my favorite mobs All right, now we've got the Adventures with Mario starter set here, and this one is set number 71360. This one will include 231 pieces and will retail in the U.S. for $59.99, and then in Canada for $69.99, and this will be the set where you will be able to acquire Mario. So this is a really exciting one here. I think it's a very well-designed set. You're getting a Goomba, you're getting Mario, of course, and you're getting Bowser Jr. as well, who I think was 
is a great inclusion here. I really love the tile print on his torso there. I love that hand-drawn, like, kind of crayon look that it has. I think that comes off as looking really fantastic, and Mario's design looks really great. It's definitely growing on me quite a bit. Now, that's not to say that when it was initially revealed that I, like, hated the design or even really disliked it, but it's definitely as I've seen it more and more, and I've seen the different costumes and everything you can do with it and all of its features, it's really become a figure that I really like the design of, and that's why I had said before that this is definitely one that I would consider picking up if it was on a good sale, because it is a really cool starter pack here. You're getting a very nice course here, you're getting the main pipe that you need to start every level, and the flag that you need to finish the level. So, I think it's really great that you're getting all of this included here. Mario looks fantastic. There's some cool features here where you can spin him around. You have the mystery block as well that you can break. There's just a lot of cool things going on here, and I haven't mentioned this thus far in the video, but all of the stickers where you have, like, basically where it can interact with the game, the AR sort of things, those are all just pre-applied on the block. They're not a print, but they are a sticker, but it's just one that's really going to stay on there for years and years. It's something that's not going to easily be able to come off, but they wanted to make sure to pre-apply them just so that they're properly on there so that the game will function as it needs to. So I like that they went ahead and did that. It's definitely something that will be really good, especially for younger kids who may have trouble applying stickers properly or in the correct place. So it's definitely a really smart move on LEGO and Nintendo's part. And yeah, it's just a really cool course here. I love that Mario there. It shows that he makes noises, he makes it, he talks, has phrases. It's just such a cool looking figure. He looks so happy. I love the QB like blocky design. I think it looks just fantastic. I really would like to see in the future us to get an expansion for maybe Super Mario Odyssey where you can get Cappy. I think that would be such a cool inclusion. So I would really love to see that eventually just as one of the things I would like to see in the future. But this starter set on its own is just a really fantastic place to get started. All right, now we've got Mario's house and Yoshi, and this one is set number 71367. This one will include 205 pieces and will retail in the US for $29.99 and then $39.99 in Canada. And this set here includes Yoshi and a Goomba, and that Yoshi looks amazing. They did such a great job with the brick built like sort of design there. I really love how they were able to accomplish that with all of the characters in this series. I think that's really Really great. You also get to see that Mario has a hammock in this set, and I really love when he's lying down there. It looks like he's sleeping. I think that's really cool. Now, keep in mind, of course, Mario isn't included in this set, but if you pick up the starter pack, he'll be able to be featured in it, and I think that's really cool. I love Mario's house as well. I really like the sign on the front there that says Mario. That looks really great. It is a smaller scale course here, but I think this will definitely be one that people will really want. It'll be a highly desirable one for that brick built Yoshi there. I think he looks really amazing. And then just the, the Mario house looks really cute as well. They do a good job with creating those facades in these sets because there's never really a fully complete build. The closest that we come to that is maybe like Bowser's castle, I would say, but they're all kind of a facade with just the front and really no big interiors or back to them. But I think they still do a really good job of just representing that sort of like 2D level design. And I think that's definitely really cool and it comes across really well in this set. Next up here, we've got the Guarded Fortress. This one is set number 71362. It will include 468 pieces and will retail in the US for $49.99 and then in Canada for $69.99. And this is a really great course. I've seen some people saying that it's their favorite course and I would definitely have to say it's really up high here in my ranking because it's really well done and it feels very complete. I really love how it all kind of wraps around with all of it. 
it. I think that's really great. It's not just like a simple like 2D exterior. This one feels a lot more 3D in my opinion. I like the inclusion of the green shell Koopa there. You're getting a Babom as well. You're getting the Piranha Plant and then you're getting that castle there or the front of the fortress I suppose I should say. I like how they have the clouds coming out there on the translucent poles there. I think that's a really cool feature as well. You get a cool Mario flag also. You get very cool different like sort of almost like I know I'm talking like it's Minecraft but like biomes almost like different areas. You get kind of a green area on the left then in the middle more of a lava sort of field and then on the far right you get more of like what looks to be a little bit more of a watery terrain with that piranha plant and I love the build for the piranhas. I think it looks really amazing. They did a fantastic job there and it looks like it's kind of like coming out of the pipe it kind of seems like so I really love that very creative and cool design overall. You get some cool features where you get to like flip the Koopa off of its stand which is really nice. Defeat the Piranha Plant and it's just a really fun set. I really like this one. It looks like it has some of the most playability I would say. So I think that this one definitely earns that price point there and is a great set in this theme. All right, now we've got the King Boo and the Haunted Yard. This one is set number 71377. This one will include 431 pieces and will retail in the U.S. for $49.99 and then in Canada for $69.99. And I like this set. I think this might be one that I put up higher more so than others just because I kind of like more spooky theme sort of sets. Like, I'm not going to say Halloween because it's technically not like for the season, but I would say it's more of like a spooky sort of just general theme of being a little bit more scary looking and I really love that you're getting two Goombas in this set you're getting some of these swoopers as well which look really great and then you're getting the main attraction I would argue which is King Boo who just looks fantastic I love that cube design there it looks very nice some of these sets I feel like they would fit kind of well maybe with the Minecraft theme kind of it kind of reminds me of like a gas design of course still capturing that Boo design very well and I love the crown as well using that half cracked like egg piece there for the crown I think that was such a cool and clever piece usage there so I can really appreciate that and then just the build overall even though it's more of a brown darker color scheme with the blacks as well and the grays I think it looks really cool and spooky I love the webs as well the cobwebs there with the spiders that's really cool I like the features with like fighting the swoopers how you can kind of knock them down and stuff like like that and knock off King Boo, which is really nice. So it's just overall a really cool set. Like I really like this one. This is one where it went on where if it went on a sale, I would definitely consider picking it up. I think it looks really awesome and could kind of fit into maybe a spooky setting as well, just in a normal sort of set, just kind of giving that facade of a smaller, kind of like haunted house sort of field, I would say, like a graveyard almost setting as well. So just a very well done set. Next up here, we've got Toad's Treasure Hunt, and this one is set number 71368. It will include 464 pieces and will retail in the U.S. for $69.99 and then in Canada for $89.99. And this set is so cool. You're getting Toad and Toadette, of course, and they look amazing. They did such a good job designing them. I think they look fantastic. So just kudos to LEGO there for translating those two so well. You're getting some cheap cheaps as well which is a really cool inclusion they look like they have a very fun play feature there where you kind of have to cross over that bridge and kind of get past them so I think that's a really cool function there then you're getting a Goomba as well because Goombas are just one of the main sort of mobs or enemies in Mario so you got to include them in quite a few sets and I really like the inclusion of this one here and then this is where the facade sort of idea really comes into play because you have those toad houses but or mushroom homes I suppose you could kind of call them but they are definitely more of a facade if you look behind it it's very like just the bricks like that kind of like um uh, kind of like some of the mechs in Lego where if you look behind it it doesn't look as well done and I feel like that kind of comes into play here but I feel like it's also not trying to be like this big fully fledged out toad house now I think that would be awesome to get in the future maybe if we ever have minifigure scale Mario sets which I would really hope for but I think that this 
this is well done for what it is and for the course sort of idea that they're doing. This one seems to have a lot going for it. Like there's a lot going on here. So you're definitely earning that higher price point here. So I think just overall, it's a very cool and definitely one of the most colorful sets in this theme. So just a really well done inclusion. All right, we've made it now to the number one spot here, and I'm sure you could have guessed what it was. It's the largest set in this new Super Mario theme, and it is the Bowser's Castle Boss Battle. Now, this one is set number 71369. It will include 1,010 pieces and will retail in the U.S. for $99.99, and then in Canada for $139.99, and this is amazing. I just have to say that... Bowser build is fantastic. Must be one of the best brick built builds that they've done. That sounded like a bit of a tongue twister there, but yeah, it just looks fantastic. I think they did such a great job there, and I feel like that's one that could kind of fit in with the mini figure scale because you would want Bowser to be a bit of a bigger figure, definitely a bit more intimidating, and I think they did a great job of capturing this. So much expression in his face there with those prints as well, and the build of his mouth also looks fantastic. It's just so so great and there's one specific image that I want to mention as well where Mario is jumping on a boo and he just looks so scared I love how they kind of have reactions depending on kind of what he's jumping on so I think that's just a really cool added feature there for the gameplay sort of aspect of it you're getting a dry bones as well in the set which is a very nice inclusion also and you're getting one of the patabos as well sorry if I mispronounced that kind of sounded like I might have but they look really cute as I've said before and I really like the Bowser build as well like the actual like stone build for the castle I think that's really cool a very nice build there you got a time block as well included just some really cool features here and it's a very cool way because I assume you would kind of at least most people would kind of put this near the end of their course or as the final boss level here so I think it definitely ends it off on a huge like awesome looking set here and I think that's really great that they were able to kind of stick the landing there with the largest set. Now, I would have liked to have seen a Bowser minifigure scale set, but I understand that this first part of the theme here is going to be this sort of gameplay idea, and I'm not saying that we'll ever get minifigure sets. Like, I'm not too sure, of course, but I would hope to get that eventually with some sort of Bowser's Castle. Now, the only thing that I think might be missing from here is maybe like a Princess Peach sort of brick-built figure. Something like that would have been really cool to include in here and definitely Definitely. Like, I think the price point is justified here, but it would have added something really cool. And I'm not saying you have to have her as like a figure like Mario, but I think it would have just been cool to have a brick built sort of version similar to maybe like Toad or something like that or Yoshi, I suppose. So that would have been a cool inclusion in a cage or something. So you're like kind of rescuing someone. You're not just defeating Bowser just for the sole purpose of defeating him. So that would have been nice to get included here, but I still think it's a fantastic set that really nails the aesthetic of Bowser's Castle. Okay, so that concludes my LEGO Super Mario Worst to First ranking here. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Be sure to let me know your Worst to First ranking for these sets down below. Which ones are your favorites? Which ones are your least favorites? I'm always curious to kind of see how my list compares to yours because, of course, this was all just my personal opinion, so please don't take any offense to if I put your favorite set maybe at the bottom of the list. Let me know all of that, and I want you to kind of like justify your points, of course, and maybe I'll even turn around my own opinion of some of these sets. Of course, I'm totally open to having my opinion changed on some of these. Even though I don't really think I said anything too negative about any of the sets, I actually think they're all really well done. And I'm kind of in for this idea. I think some of the prices are a little bit high on a few of the sets. And it is a little bit much to kind of get into. It's a bit overwhelming with the sheer amount of sets that we're getting here. But I think for Nintendo fans and Mario fans in general, they're going to absolutely love this 
this new theme here, and it might even bring them into LEGO just as a product on its own. So I think that'll be really fun as well. So it's just overall a great theme with a really cool concept for it. I do want to see minifigure scale sets in the future at some point, but I wouldn't be opposed to them kind of continuing this idea here and maybe giving us different characters in the form of like how Mario is as a playable character. I think it would be cool to get Luigi, maybe even a Bowser in that sort of version. I don't know if they would ever do that because he's more of an enemy, but he has been playable, I think, in like some of the games, I suppose. Maybe not some of the main series Mario games, but nonetheless, characters similar to that, more of the main cast of characters maybe in this form and maybe have them in smaller sets so you don't have to pay like 70 bucks like how it is for the starter pack for this wave. So just something like that I would like to see in the future, but I think overall just a great range of sets here. I really enjoyed making this worst to first here. It was super fun to talk about all of these sets. Let me know what you would like to see on, in the future of this channel and what other worst to first videos you would want to see me feature for certain themes. I definitely plan on continuing this series and doing some other varied themes as well and going back. And of course, I'll probably do it every time there's like a new theme announced or a new wave for a certain theme. So be sure to let me know everything down below. I know I've asked a lot of stuff, so you'll have a ton to comment, but thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of the content. So yeah, I will see you all next time and always remember, keep on collecting.